Okay, so here's a quick tutorial on how to use audio in your animation. So if you're making like a an interactive tutorial uh, or, or in this case a demo scene, then you probably want to animate to the audio track. So in the demo scene, I want to like animate to the music. So as the music is playing, I want to I want my animation to sort of react to it. Um, so that's what I'm going to show you here. Um, what I have here is a, a WebGL setup, um, which by the way, you know that you don't need to use WebGL with, with theater. You can also use DOM or your own uh, graphics pipeline. But here I, I have WebGL, uh, this pretty cool shader um, that uh, you can sort of play with, you know, all kinds of props that it has, like the frequency and, you know, the, the colors are, you know, you can play with them like that. Now look at that. Anyway, it's really, it's really cool. I would, I would get lost playing with this. Um, and by the way, thank you, um, Fabienne, Fabienne Bielman of Dimorph. Thank you for sharing the, uh, the WebGL scene with us. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Um, so yeah, um, I'm just going to upload the audio track already while I explain the rest of this. So let me just upload it. Um, if you haven't seen the crash course, um, give give that a watch. Maybe watch it at double speed. Uh, but once you do that, you know the API is going to make sense. And uh, what we're going to do here is that so we have a sheet called scene. So here here's our outline. The project is called demo two. The sheet is called scene. And here's the the one object that we have. We call it shader. And I want to add the audio track. And I wanted that as this the sequence of the sheet. So this is our sequence. As the sequence plays, uh, it plays like perfectly in sync with the audio track. Um, so that's what we're gonna, we're gonna do. Um, so the sequence has an API called uh, attach audio. So sheet.sequence.attach audio. By the way, you should get um, autocomplete uh, for all of this. I, I'm probably, I have misconfigured my sandbox probably. But you should you should get auto auto complete and you know you know API documentation here, so uh, probably gonna fix that before 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 releasing this. Anyway, so here's attach audio and it takes a source and the source can either be a URL, or if you have your own web audio setup like your own audio context and the notes and stuff, there is an API to to attach it to those as well. So you can look at the API documentation and you'll see how that works. Um, I'm going to uh, get the URL to the audio, so audio URL from, and uh, so audio URL, and uh, so this is going to take a while to load. You probably want to like show a loader or something here. Um, I'm just going to say music ready. Music is loaded. Let's see how it looks. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, so what I would do here is to, you know, just you know, play with the with the timings, for example. Like here, I think the this reaction is hmm, it's probably just a little bit too early. Um, you know, as the like the strength that um, increases, maybe this is a little too early. So maybe just push it forward a little. But yeah, um, so this this would you know take a while to uh, to animate. So I'm not gonna. Um, you know, record the, like the, the whole process. Um, so my, my sequence is this long so far. You can, you know, you can make it longer and, you know, add all kinds of details with all of these parameters here. And uh, did, I'm going to leave a link to the code sandbox to, in the description. So you can just, just fork this and, uh, you know, um, do your own changes and, you know, just, just, just have fun with it. And, uh, and if you want, you can also share it with, with, uh, with us, you know, like you can, once you have, you know, once you want to share something, you know, you fork the code sandbox like this and then, um, select the, 
the project uh, in the outline, hit export. Again, we have covered all of this in the, in the crash course. Uh, so here's the state of the project. I'm just gonna copy it, bring it back here, uh, put it here. And uh, so once I do that, I can again share another link and uh, it's gonna have the, the new animation uh, that, that I have like done here. You could also use other audio tracks. Um, there's all kinds of very high quality music on the free music archive, different genres, um, very permissive licenses. So that's really good. This particular track is Moonlight Reprised by Kai Angle. Um, so, you know, you, you could sort of like replace replace the music with, with something else, or maybe even just, you know, replace the, uh, change the shader, for example. I'm gonna also put another link, another code sandbox, this one from um, Toshia Marukubo. Um, thank you, Toshia. Uh, it's a really nice shader. That's just a lot of fun to play with. Here's another example. Yeah, it's just, you know, it's fun to animate these things to the music. All right, so um, that was the tutorial. Um, again, join us on uh, on, on Discord or uh, just follow the updates on, on Twitter. Uh, theater is open source, as you know. So uh, yeah, just, just join the community and uh, we would be happy to have you there. All right, thank you for watching.